Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this little gallery and now in this lecture we are going to build this banner, banner under the gallery. So first of all what we need to do, we will create a separate section as we create for this gallery and then we will put this H3 heading, this is H4 heading and then we will put this paragraph and then we will insert these images before and after the paragraph and then this author name and then at the last we will put this image. So now let's start. Here is after the closing tag of the section. This is the closing tag of the section that is given to the image gallery. Here you can see that our products. So after its closing tag, here we have to create another section. Section and here is section. And here I'm going to reduce it. And then here I'm going to give a class. Here is banner box, banner box. And here in this I'm going to create a div and I'm going to give it the class inside. So here you see that this text is appear on the top side and this um, image is just appear like it is the downside. So here I'm going to give it Z index 2 to the text by here I'm going to give a div and here is its class inside and here is the closing tag of the div and now in between this here I'm going to create h3 heading here is the h3 heading and now here I'm going to copy it then paste it here and here it is and then here is h4 here is the h4 and now I'm gonna copy this and here is this and now here I'm gonna paste that paragraph here I'm gonna first of all copy this paragraph and then here I'm going to create a block code. This is the block code. Here is the block code. And then here I'm going to give it the class code to give it different styles. And here is the intent right. And here I'm going to paste that paragraph and here I want to tell you something that the first line is the first two lines are in the strong so I'm going to give it in the strong and then we will change its color to the orange here is the strong strong and then here after this block code what we need to do we have to create another div that contain this author name and here I'm going to copy this and now after the block code here I'm going to create a div here is the div give it the class here is a line right it is on the right side and here is the indent right and here is closing tag of the div and now here I'm gonna give a span here is the span and here is span closing tag and now here I'm gonna give the class author author and now in between this here is this and here is the italic here is italic so it's become italic and now here it is this section is complete here it is started from this point and here we have give the indent right to give the margin right to both of these paragraphs and this author name and now first of all I'm gonna give the style to this banner box 
here we have to copy it and then save it and paste it here here I'm gonna start from this line here is the banner box dot and then here it is the banner box is this box and now here we have to give the background color so a box background color is this h2929 it is just like a dark gray here it is and now here I'm gonna give it the padding to this box here I'm gonna go define 25 pixel from the top 135 pixel from the left 35 pixel for the bottom and 40 pixel for the right side and here it is you can see that this box is created here is the author name and all the things paragraph and here are the headings and now I'm gonna give the style to the h3 heading the first heading I'm gonna edit this heading I'm gonna change its font size line height and padding here I'm gonna give it banner box and here is the h3 and here is font size and here is the line height 40 pixel and here is the padding 0 and here is you see its size is increased and now here I'm gonna give the style to the h4 heading it have the less size copy it and paste it here is the h4 and here I'm gonna and first of all here I'm gonna give the font family its font family is open sans that is the passion one that is already given and here is the line height is 26 pixel and here I'm gonna give the padding on the bottom side of this heading so a distance is created on the bottom side here you see that a uh, padding is given on its bottom size and I will adjust the rest of the things we will reduce the letter pad letter spacing here is letter spacing is become minus one pixel and then here I'm gonna give font weight font weight is become 300 pixel and here is the margin I'm gonna give it the margin from the top to create the distance between two paddings two headings here is you see that the distance on its top side is created and now I'm gonna reduce it, its font size here is the font size here I'm gonna give it 21 pixel and here is the text transform to the uppercase here is the uppercase and here it is and now I'm gonna give the style to the inside div I'm gonna give it Z index here is here you see that this is the inside div I'm gonna give it Z index 2 so then it have the greater Z index here is the dot inside here is the position is relative and here is the z index is become 2 and now here I'm gonna give the style to this block code by using this code class here is the code class here is this and before this here I want to tell you another thing that is the padding and the margin of this block code is present so we have to make it zero here we have removed the margin and the padding of description list so here I'm also gonna write block code so now it is apply on it and 
here you see that margin and padding is reduced and here is I'm gonna give the style to this block code first of all the font size here is the font size is 12 pixel and then the line height is 20 pixel and then the font style is italic and here is the position is I'm gonna give the position is relative and here is the padding is 0 pixel 0 pixel and here is a 15 pixel on the bottom side here is you see that the padding is added on the bottom side the distance is increased on the bottom side and now I'm gonna give the style to the strong that is inside this paragraph here is this text is strong I'm gonna give it orange color here is coat strong here is strong here is color here is hash b09609 and here we have to give the font weight normal and now let's execute it so here it is and now I'm gonna insert a little space before and after this block code and then I will insert these images so here I want to show you that before this paragraph there is a little space and then this background image so now I'm gonna insert a little space before this paragraph and then a background image and here is also the same thing so first of all do this thing here first of all write the dot code here it is and here first of all I'm gonna insert the image before the code and the space before the code here is first of all display inline block and first of all I'm gonna insert the background image before the paragraph here is images and here is code before dot png png and here is no repeat zero zero and then we have to re insert this space before the paragraph and here is the width 14 pixel and the height is here I'm gonna give the height of this content this space and the image and here is the height is 13 pixel and here is the margin is 0 5 pixel here is 0 0 and now let's execute it so here you see that the space and the, the thing and now I'm gonna copy it this 5 pixel margin is add more space before the paragraph here this space is not only this space it is so less this 5 pixel is added on the left side so now here I'm gonna copy it and then paste it here to insert it after the paragraph here is after and here I'm gonna write after after here is and now here I'm gonna give it 6 pixel on the right side here is 6 pixel here it is and now here is so a margin of 6 pixel is given at this space and now I'm gonna give the style to this author and here it is and first of all what we need to do we have to give the indent right I will give the intent right later first of all give the style to this author text here is copy this and then paste it here here first of all we have to put 
the display inline here is the display inline block and here is the font family I'm gonna give it open sans here is the open sans and then here is the color of the text is hash FFF and then here we have to give the font size to this text here is 14 pixel and here is the line height is become 20 pixel and here is the font weight is bold here is the bold and now let's check it and now here you see that italic text is normal so I'm gonna give it the normal here is copy this font weight is normal of the italic text text here is this and here is the font weight normal normal and here it is here I'm gonna give it here render this so it is now normal and now here I'm gonna insert the image on this side then I will insert the, the style for the indent right then you can understand it clearly here we have to insert the image above the closing tag of the section or here we have to insert the image and this is the closing tag of the inside that contain the paragraph and here I'm gonna write image source here is the source and here I'm gonna write images and here is the banner box and here is the IMG and dot png and then here is the class here I'm gonna give the class banner image here is the banner image and now let's execute it here is the image now I'm gonna set this image by using this class here is this and paste it here banner img and here it is first of all give it the position absolute to set it on the right side here I'm gonna give the right zero so now it is on the right side and here is the bottom zero here is the bottom zero and here is we have not give the position relative to this section so that's why when we give it right zero so it moves according to the boundary of this this container we have to give the position relative to this section here when we give it position relative here is banner box and here we have to write position relative so now this images move according to the boundary of this section because this image have the absolute position and I have already tell you when we give anything to a relative position so that element is move according to its last position so now this absolute position is image when we give it right zero so it is present on the boundary of this section who have the relative position and now we have to adjust this text by giving the indent right here I'm gonna give the indent right here is the indent right here is the margin right 90 pixel here is the 90 pixel and now here it is so now it is adjusted and it have the absolute value so it can over overlap or override any other HTML element but it is move according to the relative position that is given to this section and thank you for watching this video if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video